Hey guys, look fuck here, and welcome to another FIFA 20 preview. And today, guys, we're moving the 86 rated first ever La Liga Player of the Month SBC Toko Ikambi of Villa Real. This card looks absolutely fantastic. I was able to complete this SBC for just 15,000 coins. And in the four games that I played with, he scored me seven goals and didn't get me any assists. And he's also got a four star big foot as well as three star skill moves. Moving along into his game stats, his main standout stats are going to be his 89 positioning, his 89 finishing, as well as his 88 shot power run. Uh, finally his 87 ball control and it did also have the marks from chemistry star applied to this Toko it can be card so obviously at the start of FIFA 20 we did have the league on the player of the month SBC card as a new addition to FIFA and now they have also given us La Liga as another uh, new player of the month who knows the only kind of big league left that actually doesn't have a player of the month SBC card is the Serie A I wouldn't be that surprised if we maybe even get like a Serie A player of the month SBC like tomorrow or something but potentially it could be guaranteed I think because the Bundesliga player of the month is tomorrow as well three days in a row of player of the month cards which is just absolutely insane and this is a fantastic value for money SBC he costs on foot bin 30,000 coins that's if you've already got nothing of use to go into this SBC and obviously I'm sure a lot of you guys have made a lot of coin today through coins through packs uh, whatever you talk in your division rival and foot champion rewards and the fact that you need like one in four and 83 rated squad to be able to do this card I'm sure there's a lot of people that could do them for a lot cheaper than 30,000 coins like myself or maybe even do them for free and I think he's a fantastic card but I will say straight off the bat I think he's worth it. I think he's a really really good card 30,000 coins I don't care what, what stage of FIFA this is um, although it is like towards the earlier parts of FIFA you know coins are easy to come by in FIFA 20 for the most part and 30k that's not much of a you know, uh, a price tag to do this SBC. I think he's very, very much worth doing. But uh, and how he was to play in game, I thought he was fantastic. Seven goals in the four games, no assists, which I'm fine with because obviously he's a striker, so his main job is to score goals, and he can 100% do that. With the marks from Kemsdale, his finishing goes from 89 to 99. That is right. You can get a card for barely 30,000 coins that, with the right chemistry style, takes his finishing up to 99 it takes his shot power up to 89 his volleys as well go to 89 his positioning and shot power go into the mid 90s that's for a La Liga striker with good pace good dribbling as well is absolutely unbelievable and, and he can bury the chances away on his left foot on his right foot thanks to that good strong four star um, four star weak foot which in my opinion felt like a five star weak foot he can drill the ball past the goalkeeper 100% no worries about that he can absolutely just belt him into the back of the night. He was really, really good at doing that and um, I couldn't get over how good his finishing was. It was really, really good. His second pro as well is also going to be his dribbling. Only three star skirmish, which obviously won't take everyone's fancy, but um, you know, you can still work with three star skirmish. That for me, it would be a little bit more of an issue if you had a three star big foot than three star skirmish. Having three star skill moves shouldn't be that much of a problem and uh, actually his dribbling in game with how his dribbling sets are, are really really good his agility goes up from 82 to 87 his ball control uh, and his dribbling both go into the low 90s yes his balance is only at 70 because of how but all of his other dribbling stats are absolutely insane that balance actually isn't an issue to this card and he does feel really smooth on the ball he can take on defenders well thanks to his dribbling his three star skill moves also aren't too bad either so you know you still are able to kind of skill your way through to be able to score goals and stuff so or at least get into good positions to try and create chances but um, I have to say dribbling wise again another really good part of the card in his final pro as well will also be his pace and because of how good his dribbling and how good his agility is he feels even quicker than 86 pace he felt really really quick he doesn't feel obviously as quick as someone like a Fia Walcott SBC card or as quick as maybe um, like a Jesus Navas or something like his screen card but he's still pretty quick for a striker he can still outpace a lot of defenders absolutely no question about that you know he can use his good pace and his good position to be able to make good runs um, through the team and you know, you know, basically get into one-on-one -on -one chances or at least get through on goal uh, to try and score chances. But uh, yeah, his pace, again, another really good part of the cards. Yes, he's only got 76 stamina, but in my opinion, that's not too much of an issue. If he had 76 stamina and he was a left winger or a right winger, that'd be more of an issue because obviously typically wingers do a lot more running than a central striker does. So that's 76 stamina you know obviously you know at times strikers do make runs and stuff but they don't do like a lot of running compared to other um like players on the field so actually in my opinion 76 stamina was not an issue um for me overall when using him i have to say that but on the whole it's a really really good card 100 percent worth doing in particular if you've already got like a Liga squad as well i think he's very much worth going for maybe even as a super sub he can work with that obviously there's a lot of super sub species that we've had available in fifa as well you know a lot of really good cards but uh, for thirty thousand coins 
100% worth doing. I'm very happy, uh, very happy to have him in the club, and I'm just glad as well that we got a La Liga Player of the Month SBC now coming every single month, which is something to look forward to. But in my opinion, good SBC and 100% worth doing. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.